It's a beautiful day in San Diego, and the fire crew at Station One are starting their day. While everything looks normal... We've got an exhausted workforce, and so yes, we're seeing less and less people sign up and voluntarily want to take overtime shifts, and so sometimes those sit empty. Back at San Diego Fire and Rescue Headquarters, Chief Colin Stowell says it's been a struggle to keep the department's 50 stations fully staffed. We've had staffing challenges before, but typically it's been during very busy fire seasons when we've deployed 40, 50, 60 folks out on, on apparatus during those fires. We don't have anybody out on those fires right now. He says the staffing shortage has already resulted in a brownout of a station this year. The, the absolute last resort for us is to have to shut down a first responder unit. Uh, we take that very seriously. We just did not have enough bodies that we could even hold and, and require that they stay at work. Stowell says COVID isn't the only reason this is happening. We're also seeing a combination of retirements and some folks leaving the department for either other departments or a change of career. But it sure hasn't helped, and the city's vaccine mandate deadline is looming. About 12 percent of his department is unvaccinated. But as we go through that process, inevitably we will have, have some personnel that don't meet those requirements and there'll be some tough decisions to be made. But he's also seeing a sharp decrease in applicants. They used to get about 4,000 a year. Now they get about 1,300. It's not a shortage of candidates. We maintain, as a CPF, we maintain um, an eligibility hiring list that has over 3,000 candidates on it today. Brian Rice is the president of the state's firefighter union. He says this crisis has been years in the making. We've been seeing staffing shortages for years. Is COVID to blame? No. Um, is the wildfire season to blame? No. Um, do they play a role in it? Yes. But th to me, the blame falls squarely on cities, counties, and municipalities as employers for failing to hire the adequate number of firefighters. Rice says fire departments have to stop relying on seasonal firefighters, inmate crews, and overtime. Meanwhile, Stowell says they will meet their staffing goal by 2023. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.